increasingly. As wars across the globe continue to escalate, cancer patients face an ever-growing series of urgent challenges in conflict-affected regions, falling victim to the collateral damage of war on hospitals, on the healthcare supply chain, and the massive displacement of patients that war causes. I mean, the horrors of war, it's easy to forget about cancer. War destroys health systems, and people affected by cancer are particularly vulnerable. There are no emergency kits to treat cancer. There are no field hospitals to provide comprehensive care or diagnostic services. Essential health services and pharmaceutical supply chains are often badly disrupted. WHO and partners are working to protect the vulnerable populations affected by both cancer and conflict. Our manifesto, titled Manifesto on Improving Cancer Care in Conflict-Impacted Populations, published in The Lancet, sets out seven key priorities to ensure that cancer services are preserved and, more importantly, that patients are protected and cared for during conflict. This manifesto presents an immediate and essential course of action to address the devastating ramifications of armed conflict of cancer care, control and prevention. Cancer simply thrives in wars and in refugee bodies. We, as the medical community, need to step up now more than ever to protect and safeguard the sanctity of human life during war. We need to say loud and clear that we reject the killing and destruction of humanitarian and international legal and human rights infrastructure. We should shout at the top of our lungs that we will not justice, equity and humanity become main collateral damage in wars. Cancer patients have been dealt a farther blow when the total health infrastructure, including healthcare personnel, was targeted. The global health community must collectively voice the strongest solidarity for the sanctity and protection of health services, as well as for the establishment of clear cancer care models to protect cancer patients during any conflict. Conflict and complex emergencies impact cancer patients in different ways and must be addressed urgently. The recent barbaric attack on the Okmandit Hospital, the largest children's cancer treatment centre in Ukraine, emphasises the enormous damage that war can wreak on cancer patients and on cancer health systems. We call on governments, international organisations, healthcare providers and the global community to unite in support of this manifesto and take immediate action to safeguard the lives of cancer patients caught in the crosshairs of war.